So, because of what I've seen in the media and what I've been seeing at gun stores for a very long time now, I wanted to talk about shotguns. Uh, and I realized that that is a massively complicated subject. There is so much diversity in the shotgun world. There's so many different things um, so that I wanted... I, I want to get to all that eventually, and we probably will do a bunch of videos on different things that come with shotguns. But what I really wanted to talk about is what I think, this is my opinion, the novice shotgunner, for many different reasons, be it home defense or taking quail, whatever, should be looking at to purchase. There's so many different kinds and so many different makes and, and types that it's, uh, it's a very vast world out there. So like I said, I decided to settle on what I think would be best for someone just getting into it um, for, for many reasons. And what I recommend is not a double barrel or a single action. I know those are all very simple and very easy to use, and you've seen them in the news, you've seen them on cowboy movies. I do not recommend automatics. They can be a little finicky. Uh, when I say automatics, what I mean is a semi-automatic shotgun. It's a shotgun that will load itself every one, every round. They can be a little finicky, especially uh, ammo. They can be a little ammo picky. Um, so I, I said, okay, what what do I you know what do I think would really be the best all-purpose for someone just getting into this? And I settled on the, the pump action. It's it's very iconic. It's very intuitive. Everyone's seen them, and there are many many any pump action shotguns out there it's a very old design uh, and then I said okay what what you know caliber if you will or gauge which is the proper term would you recommend and, and gauge is is a, a, a measurement of the bore size of a shotgun it's a very archaic measurement I settled that in, in my head that the best choice for someone just getting into it would be 20 gauge however in this country, the 12 gauge is much more popular. Ammunition and and uh, shotguns chambered in that are much more readily available. So, I will suggest the 12 gauge. There's nothing wrong with the 20 gauge. I own a few 20 gauges. I own some 16s. I own four, I, I own a, quite a few different shotguns. But I really think that when it comes to availability of both the round and of the shotgun and what it can do for you. Uh, because you can get a little bit more range, a little bit more power, I definitely recommend the 12 gauge. So then we come down to another one, of, well, what shell length, which is a whole other topic. What I recommend is what most modern pump actions are in, which is 3 inch or 2 and 3 quarter. And it'll say on the barrel whether it takes what size shells it'll take, and that refers to the length of the shotgun shell going into it. Two and three quarter being the most popular shotgun shell size out there. So if you can shoot two and three quarter, you can shoot anything. However, for a lot of game purposes, um, turkey, special turkey loads, or special goose loads, three inch has become uh, a new thing. There's even up to three and a halfs out there. I do not recommend them. They hurt. I just find them unpleasant to shoot, but I know guys who have great luck with them because you can reach out further. So... What we've decided on now is a pump action in 12 gauge, and it's the two and three quarter or three inch. And then I said, okay, what would be the best company to go to? And that's that's also a difficult one because there are some really great ones out there. Um, there's some new ones coming in like Black Aces that I don't really know that well, but I know some people really like them. Um, I've handled some of the Turkish firearms that are coming in. Those are shotguns. Uh, they're not bad. What I recommend, however, is a Mossberg, preferably a 500 or 500A. And I say that because I've been shooting one since I'm 18 years old with very good luck. The 500 and 500A is a very good platform. It's been used by law enforcement. Um, it's, it's very versatile. And at price point right now, uh, 12 gauge Mossberg, 500, probably run you $400, maybe more. I mean, it really depends on where you are and what the shape of it is. They um, have, you can change the barrels, take them apart very easily. If you want something that you can hunt deer with, you know, you can take uh, the whole barrel off. And I know people who've had the barrel fitted with a little, the, 
the scope fits on the barrel. You take this, you take the barrel off, and you put this one with the scope on it. And bang! You have a, a slug barrel with a scope on it, ready for hunting deer at longer range. I really recommend them. They're very handy. They're very versatile, um, and they're they're very proven. I know a lot of people like Remingtons. I love the old Remington shotguns. The new ones, however, have had a lot of issues, and I really don't recommend them. Um, but since we're talking about the Mossbergs, I have two Mossberg 500 A's here. One is, is my hunting one, and one is a friend's that he has set up for, for self-defense. And I want to show you something, and, and bear in mind, this is the exact same shotgun. They're both Mossberg 500 A's. They're both chambered in 2 and 3 quarter and 3 inch. Um, the only difference being barrel length and some, you know, cosmetic stuff. But frame-wise, everything else is the exact same gun. It's just barrel length and cosmetics. So this is my friend's 500A that he has set up for um, home defense purposes. And it's, like I said, very simple. You know, it holds five rounds here in the tube. Um, the, the bottom is open. You load them from the bottom. You can't load it when the action is open. You have to close the action. And then, unlike in a Remington where there's a little thing here, you just push your round right up in. Okay? And that's in the tube. Now to put it here into the action, you have to rack it. There's a very small button right here. You push that. The round comes down here into the action. Push it, and there it goes right in. Here is your safety. Okay, we're going to take this shell out. Okay, it ejects out the side. Um, the safety is right here. Very simple safety. Push and pull. Okay, red means it will fire. Black means it won't. Now, this one is outfitted with a shorter barrel. And uh, it's outfitted with a barrel that stays the same diameter all the way down. If you're going to buy a shotgun, I really recommend that when you go to a good gun shop and you speak with the owner or whoever's behind the counter about what you want to do with that shotgun. You know, do you want to be shooting geese at four, at 40 yards with it? Do you want to be shooting squirrels? You know, that, because that will affect the barrel and that will also affect what shells you're putting through it. Um, for instance, you know, right here, uh, doo -doo -doo. this is, you know, a number four shell. Very handy for, you know, uh, turkeys, things like that. And then over here we have, you know, slugs, which you use for large game. So really talk with your gun store owner or, or professional about what you want out of it before you buy it. But that is the great thing of this is shotguns are extremely versatile and the 500 is even more so. So like I said, this one is set up so that you have the same diameter here. So you can't really change the way the pattern of the shot is going to come out the end, but it doesn't matter if you're shooting at, you know, 15 yards. Um, this is one that he put together. Um, he mounted uh, a light and a laser here for help in the dark and things like that. Um, this has very simple flip up iron sights. And it's just a, a fine little firearm. It's it's very nice. Like I said, it holds five rounds in there. You know, they do have longer or shorter ones depending on your district and, and what you're allowed to hold. Um, so I, I really like this one. It's very nice. Now, once again, to mind you, this is the exact same firearm, just a different length barrel, different paint job. This is also a Mossberg 500A. And this one is for two and three quarter and three inch shells. And this is a hunting firearm that I've been using since I'm 18. Same kind of safety right here. Everything else works exactly the same. You know, five rounds up in here. Um, like I said, the barrel's a little different. It's ported and it has, it's not the same diameter all the way up. Right here at the end, we have what's called a choke. And the choke changes, it, it kind of flares the barrel in depending on what kind of choke you have on there how much it flares inwards and that controls the shape of the shot as it comes out at the end. Now to show you how that works is there is a small insert in the Mossberg um, in most modern shotguns really there's a small insert that screws into the end here and it can come out and you can change it depending on how far you're shooting or what exactly you're shooting so it's it's very adaptable, and I have taken squirrels, coyotes, turkeys, all sorts of things with this. 
Um, in some places you can hunt deer and bear with them. They do make things called bear shot and buckshot. Um, obviously what those names are for is what they're for. Uh, it's not my preferred and once again in some jurisdictions using that can be illegal. So you want to check on that. Um, the other thing that's different about this is the sights. This one has actual shotgun sights which are not the same as your iron sights you're used to. You have here uh, a little tack and then up here you have a bead. Now sometimes it'll be a white bead, this one happens to be black, and what you do is you set one bead on top of the other basically making a snowman and that's what you use as your sights. Not the most accurate thing in the world but it's very proven been used for years. Um, the other thing with this one is this one has been tapped on the frame to accept a scope. A lot of them have that now. And I really, really think that they are probably the best thing out there for your money. Um, we'll probably do a video on taking these apart because there is one part of that that can be kind of tricky, but swapping out barrels and stuff like that is very easy. Um, they're, they're easy to customize. Uh, I just, I think for what you're going to pay, a pump action shotgun is the way to go. Uh, the, the one downside with something like this is that it's a pump action, so you have to rack it every time you fire, um, which is, you know, obviously a, a semi-automatic has something over that, but it's worlds ahead of, say, a break action, you know, be it double, single, or triple. So that's what I recommend, and uh, I, I hope no one is too offended by this, but I definitely think that if you're just getting into shotgunning, be it for any different reason, any type of critter you're hunting, um, I really think the Mossberg 500 and 500 A series is the place to start. It's a very robust piece, and it's very difficult to mess up. So that's my recommendation, and uh, if you have anything you'd like to ask, or, or if you have a different opinion, please leave it in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you.